Jesse Vargas from um, Sean Porter taking on uh, Adrian Broner, looks like, in Vegas. How do you break that down? That's a good fight, man. That's an interesting matchup, man. I, I, I would like to see it. Who How do I break it down? Uh, it's it's uh, it would be a very competitive fight. You know, I would, I'd be leaning towards Sean, but uh, as I said, very competitive. It'd be very entertaining. Sean, Sean uh, Porter we'll try against try. Adrian Broner. Who wins? Um, it'd be Sean Porter. Sean Porter's idea would be aggressive. Sean Porter's going to be aggressive with uh, Adrian Broner. Adrian Broner is aggressive. 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 Adrian and Broner and, and Porter fight, fight only one way. He's very aggressive and no skill. His skill very limited. I disagree. Limited. I think Sean Porter is a better solid fighter. I think he's got better basics and I think Sean Porter wins the fight. I don't well, like Adrian Broner especially, so maybe, I don't, maybe I don't that's like my, that changes my opinion, but you know what, I go for Sean Porter. I don't like it either, but you're going to see next month, June 20 in Las Vegas, Adrian Broner, unanimous decision. Uh, I think um, Adrian. Why do you say that? He's a better boxer. Okay. I think, uh, yeah, I think he's, uh, he's more, uh, I'm thinking um, Porter all the way. Because um, Adrian Brunner, he tried to be like Floyd, but he's not like Floyd. He's too short, you know, his arm's too short. And he liked to bang it on his side and pocket a little bit. You know, with Brunner, well, Adrian, with Sean Porter, you got to stick and move. You can't sit there and bang with him because he get the best of you. He's real good on the inside. He's real low to the ground. He's strong. So, and Andrew Brunner is the much smaller fighter. So I'm thinking Sean Porter by knockout. Good fight. Yeah, because we got a we got a dude that's that got super pressure. He was Sean Porter, and we got a dude that's super slick. Adrian Brunner, he's real nice, bro. It's gonna be a very exciting fight. As long as uh, Sean does that extra pressure, but he has to be smart. Man, Sean Porter. I take Sean Porter. What do you think, buddy? Sean Porter. AB, you, if it was the old AB, maybe, but he play around too much now. So I mean, Adrian Brown is definitely um, a threat, and he could definitely win. You know, it's not like a, a no-brainer. Sean Porter, man, I think the level of opposition as of late, him losing one, all that is going to really serve him well in this fight. And Brown is a short guy, much like Porter, so distance and boxing ability won't be a factor. Porter is going to, you know, it's going to be a good brawl. I think Porter's more built for it, more mentally strong for it. Sean Porter, Adrian Broner. Uh, you know what, man? That's going to be a good fight, but I'm, I'm going to go with my man uh, Sean Porter on this one, man. I think that 147, if they do that 147, uh, I think Sean Porter's a lot, too, way too strong for Porter, Adrian Broner. Whoo! It's going down. Looks like it. I gotta go with my boy, man. Showtime, showtime. We here, baby. Let's get it. Uh, I got Adrian Broner. He's gonna outbox Sean Porter. Really? Yeah. Why do you say that? Yeah, Sean Porter is a brawler. And brawlers have trouble with boxers. And I mean, anything can go. Broner can get hit with a hard shot. As long as Broner works hard and stays focused, he got the fight in the ring. What do you think of that one? Who do you think? Uh, Sean Porter. And Adrian Broner for a fight? Right now? Yeah, that fight in June 20th, uh, it looks like. I'm going to tell you like this here, man. If Adrian Broner box Sean Porter, he might, he might get his chance, you know what I'm saying, a domination, a unanimous decision. But uh, if he try to fight Sean Porter fight, you know what I'm saying, he liable to lay on his ass. That's what I was thinking about it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, good catching up with you, Tacos Jim, man. man. Sean Porter, Adrian Broner, the city's talking about it, June 20th at the MGM Grand. Who wins this one? Uh, it's a tough call. I mean, in my opinion, it's a 50-50 fight because while Porter has uh, had moments where he's looked invincible, he's had other moments where he's also looked a little complacent in the ring to me. I mean, he's a really good fighter. Don't get me wrong. You know, I don't... If I have to give a criticism, it's because I have to, not really because I want to. Yeah. Broner, you know, he's been up and down lately. Look good with Molina. He should be hungry. He should be hungry to get back to the top of the mountain. So I'm looking for Broner to bring it, but I favor Paul Broner. What's that? Jim Broner, I believe. I think it's Jim Broner. Uh, 
I hear more price. No more. Like a mob, I play with myself. I like Champor, a friend of mine. I like him. Hi, hi for Champor. I don't know really because, uh, you know, Champor is a good boxer and Runes too, you know. Uh, but for me, Rune has in perfection condition, you know, you know. I think it's Rune is win this fight. Sean Porter, Adrian Broner, who would win that fight? King Gunner. Wow. The Broner and Sean Porter. Son dos boxeos totalmente diferentes. Yo pienso que que Broner va a salir a lanzar golpes y a correr y y le va a va a ganar por decisión dudo que gane por nocaut. He say some two two different as out the fight. So I think Broner is going to start throwing punches, running away, run, running all over the world. I think Broner is going to win. What are you going to tell us about Adrian Broner against Sean Porter? Well, I think it's going to be a good fight. I think it's going to be a good fight, but if I have to um, give, give um, one of the two the decision, I would give it to Broner. You know, like the, um, you know majority decision, something like that. Um, I think it's a good fight, entertaining fight. Um, I lean toward, lean more towards Porter because you know the punch count. You know, just busy, just busy. I work guys, so um, Broner don't throw a lot of it's like one point at a time. More of a combination. What you think? I think it's gonna be a good fight, but I think, I think the winner all depends on whatever Broner do. Because you know Porter gonna press him. So it depends on Broner fight smart, boxing, or if he like try to be stubborn at the angle. After the Madonna fight, do you feel Broner's kind of gotten uh, overlooked a little bit, like uh, underrated, like that he's more talented than people realize? Um, I think, I think, I think, I think, I mean, my honest opinion, I think the Madonna fight kind of exposed him a little bit. Like, if you make the fight rough and throw a lot of punches, you know, he don't punch. When you punch him back at him, he don't punch, he just defend. You know, so like, if, if, if a guy, he banks on a guy getting tired, if a guy don't get tired, you know. But Broner's a very, very talented fighter. He definitely can fight. I mean, the fight can go either way, but me, my personal opinion, my knowledge of boxing, if, I got, if I'm looking at the two, I would lean more towards, you know, um, Porter. Porter Broner. It's going to be a good fight. We're going to fight, but um, I think Porter, Porter is pretty big, man. I'm the amateur for 65. He, he's not busy. Um, you know, I like Broner, man. He's a dog. Um, I, I don't. I don't really think um, Broner got exposed. It's not just he got exposed to the Madonna fight. I, 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 think, I think he's a young man, so I think he probably could have made him better, you know? You, you should learn. Uh, Sean Porter hitting the hardest. Adrian Bruner the fastest, more sharper. Quick combinations, laughing, sticking his tongue out. Just having fun with Sean Porter. I'm going my, you know, I'm going my man AV, so. That's the way I, I see it. I love Sean Porter. That's my man. But I, but I love Adrian Broner's style. Now, I believe because Adrian Broner got tapped and he had them noodle legs on that last fight. If Sean Porter catch him one time, them noodle legs might come back. Okay. But I think I think Adrian Broner going to outclass him, outdance him, stay away from uh, Sean Porter right, which as he should do. Y'all going to hate on me? Y'all going to hate? And he going to be tough. Um, it's definitely a good fight. Um, Adrian Broner, uh, a very good technical fighter. Sean Porter, a very good technical fighter and aggressive at the same time. I mean, I don't have a prediction. I just hope for a good fight between the two. I, I don't give predictions no more, man. I, I gave predictions before and people was mad at me for my prediction. I'm, I'm cool with both Sean and Adrian. Um, I just hope for a good fight, man. They both are good fighters. They both putting a lot on the line. Well, you know both men very well. Sean Porter, you've been a ring spar him. Adrian Brown at the amateurs. Uh, how does this fight play out? Again, like my man Jay said, man, I just hope that it's a good fight. Uh, it just depends on which one actually shows up. You know, uh, whether it's Adrian, if Adrian shows up, or if Sean shows up. You know, it just whatever night it is, you'll definitely be able to tell by far. It's gonna be a good fight, dog. I think, uh, I don't know. I think you might be able to flip a coin, man. I think it's just gonna come down to whoever wanted more, who trained the hardest, who who put in the extra work in the gym. It's, I don't know. I, just, I really don't got no prediction. I mean, I don't know. Sean Porter can be a pit bull at times, and then AB can't box and, and stay moving. So, I don't know. I'm waiting to see it like everybody else. Like, I can't call it flip a coin with me.